Good afternoon. I would like to start by introducing myself. My name is Kimberly, and as many of you already know, I am a teen mom, and I have a two-year-old boy named Isaac. Hello, my name is Clarissa. I am a senior at Florence Crittenden High School. I have a healthy, beautiful, outgoing, extremely smart, two-and-a-half-year-old daughter whose name is Kara. Hello, my name is Hawa. I am a junior of Flo Quay. I am from Senegal, West Africa. I moved to America in August of 2006. In 2008, my family and I moved to Denver, and I liked it. My daughter, Kumba, is beautiful, silly, and high-energy to you. Being a teen mom is a responsibility I accepted when I was 16. And although, although I know 16 is a young age, I also know I didn't run for my responsibility. Before I got pregnant, I had an issue with drug use. Members of my very immediate family were addicts already. After I had my daughter, I developed a hardcore addiction. I loved school even though I had been bullied at school um, for my skin color. School was the only safe place when my home life was hard because I was physically abused. But all that changed when I had my daughter. As I adjusted to my new responsibility, life at the moment was in the way. Trying to still continue school was quite stressful. Long days, schoolwork, a baby, and having a job was all catching up to me. I then decided something had to go. But before I made that serious decision, I was completely overwhelmed. Taking the bus every morning in the winter with my son was something I felt terrible doing for the only fact that he was exposed to those elements because of me. I then neglected the help my teachers tried to give me. I had missed calls, I had voicemails, text messages, and even emails, all in an attempt to get me back on track. Although I know school is very important, at the moment I was more worried about how I was going to afford everything my son needed. So I dropped out of school and worked full time. When my daughter was seven months old, I lost custody of her due to my drug use and my living situation. I ended up in jail and still didn't even think about changing until I went to rehab. I had totally lost sight of who I was and the fact that I was a mother who needed to be there for my child. I was a completely different person than who I am today. I didn't see myself heading down a path that I was going to have a child at a young age. I didn't expect that I could finish school because the only thing I was thinking about was dropping out. Once I had my baby, my grades started to go down because of my attendance and also because I didn't have a babysitter. I didn't want to work at a fast food restaurant for the rest of my life. I had bigger aspirations and I was searching for knowledge and a brighter future for me and my son. I wasn't going to settle for less, especially because I knew I was capable of much more. What really motivated me to get back to school was when I attended my cousin's graduation, class of 2016. I was class of 2016. Sitting at her graduation was a bittersweet moment. Of course, I was happy for her, but I also felt like a disappointment towards myself, my family, and most importantly, my son. I needed to make a change and I needed to make it right. I have been sober since February 10, 2015, a little over a year and a half. I moved in with my dad and stepmom, and when I came to Florence Crinton, my daughter came to live with me again. A lot of people told me about teen mom schools, but I kept thinking to myself that I didn't want to go to a teen mom school. I didn't want to carry my baby on the bus. I didn't want any... Uh, I didn't know anyone, but a counselor at Manuel High School, Mrs. Montoya, told me about Flowquid, helped me fill out the forms, took me on a tour, and believed that I could finish. Once again, Florence Crittenton didn't judge me. They gave me the opportunity I was looking for. They accepted me, and they welcomed me with a warm hug, and began to impact my life once again. I knew Florence Crittenton could feed my ambition. I knew Flowquid was a place where I can be truly supported and free of judgment. Having Flow Crit as a support system is a true blessing. Not only do they motivate you, they become a family, a family who knows your flaws and still doesn't judge you, but they empower you. Switching schools made me feel like I was starting all over again. 
I had looked at other, a few other schools that have daycares on campus for students before I came here. But this one seemed like the best choice for me and my daughter, and it was. When I took the tour, I liked the environment with the track here on one side and the students on the other. The teachers, the teachers were really nice, the students were nice and helped me by making me feel comfortable. None of the students made fun of me. I was afraid that they would because in the past I have been bullied. I have seen flow print really impact the lives of many girls. From helping them to get to school to making sure we got home safe. Not only that, but our teachers and staff will do anything to keep you on track. They will go to your house, they will call you, and they will find you. <laughs> At Flow Crit, everyone was so welcoming and non-judgmental. I felt at ease knowing my daughter was close, safe, and learning. All the services they provide are very helpful and help keep me on the right track. The staff push all of us to be amazing mothers and students. The support that is given at Florence Crittenden really makes a difference in our everyday lives. Guess what? Flowcrate made me feel welcome and accepted who I am. So I came back and stayed. What I like about a Flowcrate is like real family. Not only are the teachers and staff great, but I am truly satisfied with the attention my two-year-old receives. My son has two wonderful teachers who I can trust and depend on because I know they will take care of him the way I would. The ECE teachers truly engage with our children. They make our kids feel safe and welcome. They also offer programs where we can go and have lunch with our kids. They offer books for us to check out and read to our children. They offer so much support with free clothes and free diapers. They have safe playgrounds for our children. My son just received his first bike. Donated by Wish for Wheels and Linkart PR. My son started at Flow Crate when he was an infant. He learned how to crawl with his ECE teachers, and he's now learning to speak in complete sentences. Scara has learned so much at the Flow Crate ECE Center, and her vocabulary has improved immensely. What I like about the ECE Center is that it is not just a daycare. It's like she's at school while I'm at school, and every day she learns something new. Kumba is learning many things at Flow Crate, like the, using the party, sharing, and being social. What I like about the ECE service is when I'm in class, the staff show love and care to my daughter. Having an education is something no one can ever take from you. Education is the most powerful tool that can be used to change the world. Because if you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. It's truly amazing to know that we aren't judged because of our past. It's truly amazing to know that everyone who has supported Florence Crittenden believes in us. Not many people share the same vision that those who have helped build Flow Critsy. For me, having an education is everything. When I graduate, I plan to go to college, although I'm not, for, not sure what for yet. For me, having an education means being successful and having the opportunity to do whatever I want. I plan to graduate in 2018 and become part of the medical field. Thank you to everyone who has supported us in our journey. Many people who have helped have no idea how much they have truly impacted our lives and our children's lives. From all the donations, to the new classrooms, to a whole building just for our babies. Thank you. I want to thank my dad and stepmom. If it wasn't for them opening their home to me, I don't know where I would have ended up. I would also like to thank everyone at or involved in Florence Crittenden. The help you provide us is unbelievable and truly has an impact in our everyday life. I want to thank Ms. Desta, Ms. Kelly, and Ms. Jenia for believing in me and pushing me to do well in school. And can thank you to all the staff at Flowcrit. To my son Isaac, I would say being a young mom means we met early. But that doesn't mean I lost myself. Because of you, I only found myself. Being a young mom means I cannot give up. Because there is someone looking up to me. There is someone depending on me, which is why I truly believe it is my time now to set an example. Even if I'm not where I want to be, I know I'm not where I was. It takes time, it takes persistence, it takes perseverance, and it takes ganas. 
which is Spanish, which is Spanish for wanting something and going to get it. To Skyra, I would say thank you for giving me a reason to get out of that lifestyle and to continue on to do great things and helping me find my purpose in life. To Kumba, I want, I want to say having you was not a mistake. You are a blessing. Even though it is hard, I managed to stay in school and work at the same time. Because I'm showing you how to be an independent woman and also showing a perfect example of not giving up. The best teachers are those who bring out the best in you. The best teachers are those who help you discover the knowledge you didn't know lived inside of you. The best teachers work at Flow Crit. teen moms out there who are struggling, I would say you're not alone. Every single one of us has our own struggles, no matter the severity of them. It is how you choose to handle them and overcome them that makes all the difference. To those of you who think you can't become anything just because you had a child at a young age, remember, God have a plan for you. Gracias. Merci. Thank you. Clarissa Hawa, Kimberly, thank you so much for sharing your stories, your testimonies. And Suzanne, this just speaks to uh, the resources, the support system, all the many things that Flow Crit is, and the wonderful impact they're making on the mothers and the children. Oh, yes. Hello? Suzanne? Oh, sorry. I'm pretty good voice without, so I have to... Oh, it, it truly is the, the thing that motivates, I think, every one of us is what we see in their journey going through, I mean, rain, sleet, snow, to get there 